EWEB started its Healthy Farms Clean Water Program back in 2005 as a strategy uh, to help ag and farmers become more economically viable by reducing chemical use and trying to increase riparian buffers as part of our source protection strategy. The Mackenzie River is uh, Eugene's sole source of drinking water for about 200,000 people. So trying to minimize or reduce the amount of uh, potential pesticides that are getting into the river helps us reduce our treatment costs and helps keep the water safe and clean for future generations to enjoy. Pest control and pesticide control is very, very important going forward in, in agriculture. So it wasn't hard for us to start having the discussion with EWEB uh, and with Oregon State regarding how do we go about the process of improving the water quality that runs past the farm. In 2012, the Eugene Water and Electric Board, in partnership with the Oregon Hazelnut Commission and Oregon State University, launched a field test to reduce pesticide use on McKinsey River Valley hazelnut orchards. Farmers typically use a chemical spray to control filbert worm, which can destroy the value of the crop. During the field tests, OSU researchers flooded the airspace above the orchards by deploying plastic strips impregnated with a synthetic sex pheromone. This confuses the male filbert moth, which is then unable to find and mate with the female. The technique is known as mating disruption. And you're trying to confuse the mating of the moths. And we do that by filling the airspace of the orchard with the sex pheromone. And so to do that, we have these plastic dispensers which are impregnated with a synthetic version of the sex pheromone. When the whole airspace is filled with that plume of pheromone, he can't find the edge and so he just wanders around until he runs out of energy and gives up. No mating occurs and she cannot lay fertile offspring and the uh, population is reduced. After the three years of, of management, we consistently found um, that mating disruption is equally as, as good as, as chemical control. Uh, we're reducing pesticide use by 60 to 75 percent as well. We're already working with the hazelnut growers around reducing nitrogen use and they approached us around this idea of reducing pesticide use by using mating disruption. You want to ensure that the hazelnut worm uh, has little access to the hazelnut so that at the end of the day we've got uh, a product that we can sell to the public and the public is satisfied with it, the handlers are satisfied with it. I decided to get involved in mating disruption as an alternative to spraying or at least a supplement to spraying for my attitude toward the river and clean water and the environment. Uh, none of us like to spray. Mating disruption has shown us so far that we can get by with less pesticide application. The community upriver certainly wants clean water. The people in Eugene want clean water. We want to protect those uh, assets and resources that are available to us. The way to respect the river is to ma manage the farm properly, which includes very close monitoring of any pesticides and herbicides that we put into the orchard and not to be over aggressive. Any kinds of fertilizer that we put on this orchard to make sure that we're not being over aggressive. And so in in preparation for that, we had conversations with eWeb about what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. I think if you're looking at, um, at filbert worm um, management, you know, growers are using uh, about one spray per season. So if you're reducing that by 60 to 75 percent, that's a significant reduction. There are growers in the northern part of the valley that are taking this program and putting it in place, monitoring themselves, and trying it out because they want to do a better quality job also. We're always looking for alternatives and this is an alternative. This is a good alternative in the sense of trying to raise a crop without polluting the environment. It's a benefit that eWeb takes part in, uh, in doing that. Our three-year pilot with the Oregon State University and the hazelnut growers uh, testing this concept of mating disruption um, really showed uh, amazing results. It helps uh, us reduce our treatment costs and helps uh, keep the water safe and clean for future generations to enjoy.